so you want to get hired. Your LinkedIn profile looks great. Then you go to upload a photo and it looks bad. Here's some tips to help you take a professional headshot at home that'll be a great first impression, help you stand out amongst the crowd, and ultimately get hired. Now, I'm gonna be using this iPhone, but any smartphone camera or regular camera will do. The same basic principles apply. Heck, you can even use an old film camera if you wanted to, but don't expect me to explain how that stuff works. So first up, you wanna find a great place to take the photo. Ideally, something a little more interesting than a white wall. But keep it simple and tidy it up a bit. Now let's talk clothes. This isn't an official Department of Defense photo, so you don't have to wear your military uniform. A simple business attire color top is perfect. Try to avoid black and white, as those don't always photograph best. Since this is just a headshot, you don't have to worry about pants. Theoretically, you don't even have to wear them, but I'm gonna leave that decision up to you. While you're choosing your best clothes, it's time to start thinking about the rest of your appearance. Brush those pearly whites and style your hair. Don't just roll out of bed and start snapping photos. Make sure you wash your face so it's not oily. And if you wanna wear makeup, remember, a little bit can go a long way. Don't go overboard. And hey, as long as you're going through all this trouble, you might as well grab some alternate versions for your Instagram profile too. But don't put those on LinkedIn. Indirect sunlight is always the most flattering option when it comes to lighting. So if you can position yourself near a window, that's the best choice. But don't put the light source right behind you. That'll just turn you into a silhouette, which isn't great, unless your prospective boss is a fan of film noir. Whatever your light source is, you want it to be pointed at your face. If a window isn't an option, use a lamp. Just make sure it's above eye level, because if it's too low, it can look scary. Ideally, you want something between you and the light source to soften it like a lampshade or a white sheet. If the light is too harsh, that can also look scary. Let's talk about positioning the camera. This is not flattering. You want the camera to be just above eye level. This can be tricky with the phone. If you don't have someone to hold the camera for you, try placing an item underneath it. We recommend using the rear lens because it's a higher quality camera, but that'll mean you might need a couple tries to get the framing just right. Your face is the star here but remember to include a bit of the upper body to show off your professional outfit. Don't crop too close to the top of your head. Select portrait mode, set the self timer, and position yourself. And here's the most important thing, smile. It's okay if you don't love it on the first try. Do it as many times as you need to. Take a deep breath, relax, just be yourself. Most smartphones have simple editing software that'll help you add the finishing touches to your masterpiece. Just don't go overboard. Start by using the auto setting and make additional adjustments as needed. I'm going to warm up the temperature, do small boost in contrast, saturation, and sharpening. If you're not comfortable, you don't need to do that. Lastly, you can crop and straighten a photo if your framing wasn't quite perfect, but don't cut too close. Make sure to leave enough room around your head. Looking good, it's ready to upload to your profile. Good luck out there. And remember to head over to ResumeEngine.org to translate your military experience to civilian skills. And then head over to HiringOurHeroes.org events to drive your future and prepare for your next career move.